All right, here we are. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. How's it going? When you come on in, go ahead and wave to me. It's so good to see you. Welcome back, all of you Tuesday Transformers. So glad to see you. I hope you're doing well this Tuesday. Um, Edwidge, it's good seeing you. Want to say hi to Instagram and some of the people who are hopping on. We're going to give everyone a few more seconds just to get on in. I'm so glad that we're back here yet another Tuesday being able to just speak about very important health topics. And while you are just on your lunch, I want to be able to give you some quick information that could be beneficial to you. So I'm so glad you're able to hear. Hi, Sunny Tasi. Good to see you. Fabulous, Tasha. Hi, I'm just going to wave at you here. And we are going to get started shortly here. Okay, let's go ahead and start because I'm excited to talk about this and teach all of you as I do every week. So I am Dr. Sabine Elize. I'm a board certified family medicine physician. I am the CEO and co-founder of Cornerstone Medical Group where we bring wholeness to your health. And as a physician, pastor's kid, wife, and mom, I have come to realize to be healthy and well, you have to address more than your physical health. That's why I help men and women reconnect their physical, spiritual, and cognitive health to bring satisfying wholeness to their lives daily. And I do that right here in Coral Springs at my medical office. So we're going to get right into our topic today. We are talking about avoiding burnout, avoiding burnout. Okay. So I just want you to put the word, whatever, when you hear the term burnout, I want you to just type in the chat, what that just brings to your mind, just avoiding burnout. I think of just being tired. Is there anyone out there who is just tired? We are only just still in the first month of the year and we are, so many people are still tired. I'm having people come in and just speak about how tired they are. So I wanted to be able to use this Tuesday Transformer talk to connect with my Tuesday Transformers and let them know what we can do to avoid burnout. So let's get right in our topic. We're gonna have three tips, three tips that we really need to put into practice um, and make it into a habit so that we could avoid burnout. So once again, today we are talking about avoiding burnout. What are our three tips, three habits that we need to come and take into play when we are avoiding burnout? Number one, you need to schedule a break. You must schedule a break. And I'm not talking about vacation. All right, so vacation is definitely true, but I'm talking about scheduling a break daily and weekly. What does that look like? When I was studying for my boards, when I was um, studying for MCAT and just even now, one of the testing instructors, they said it's very important after every hour of studying, so even for you, after every hour of, of working, of focusing so intently on something, you should step away for it from five minutes, just stepping away from five minutes. When you do that daily, whatever it is that you're working out, these are some of these beginning steps to avoid burnout. Why do I say that? Because just how a car overheats, just how you can see system overload sometimes when you're, you're doing some work, it is very true. Our brain can get over process. It's too much information. It gets overloaded. So when you schedule that break daily, working long periods of time, working into that second hour, step away from that computer, get away from that desk, five minutes, get some fresh air. Stepping away from it is one of the things that we could start doing in our daily habits that will help us to avoid burnout. And I want to say that some people don't even realize when they are burnout. So I'm just going to give you a quick, one of the quick telltale signs that you're starting to approach that burnout. When you go to sleep and you still are waking up tired, you're going to sleep and you're still just tired and you slept pretty well. It's not because there was insomnia or anything like that. Those are those indications that, hey, you may be coming really close to that burnout or you just never get that rest. So even after sleeping, taking that afternoon nap, waking up in the morning, you're still tired, that may be an indication that you are on a path to burnout. So one of the first things we have to do to avoid burnout, like we mentioned, we schedule the breaks. We schedule the breaks daily after about two hours, one hour to two hours of working, step away from that computer, step away from whatever you're doing, so that way that you can just recharge and do something else. The weekly break is important too. So even after, if you're working five days a week, six days, seven days a week, there should be one day that you are 
are getting some rest. Listen, God is God and on the seventh day he rested. So how much more do you and I need to rest? So take that seventh day and rest. Take that day, one day out of the week and just rest. And in true transparency, this was hard for me this weekend. This weekend I had so many things that I wanted to do. I really wanted to get some work done and I couldn't. I have a speaking event coming up, but I just didn't. Why? Because I have some people who are holding me accountable to make sure that when I am off, I am off and I am taking that break. So we schedule our break the way we schedule appointments, five minutes in that day after every hour or two, and then also weekly. The second thing that I want you to do, the way that we avoid burnout, the second way we avoid burnout is we have a start time and we have an end time. We have to have a start time and we have to have an end time. Listen, you will be at that desk grinding away. You will be on that project grinding away. It'll be late, long hours of the night and you won't even realize it. One of the best ways that we can avoid burnout, and again, this is a daily practice that we're talking about that you have to start putting into place now, today. Don't wait next week, start right now is you have to have a start time and you have to have an end time, whatever it is that you're doing. Thank you for going ahead and putting that in the chat. Yes, that's our number two thing. You have to have a start time, you have to have an end time. So why do we have to do that? Because that's just the reality. We're not robots, we can't just keep going and going. You remember the Energizer Bunny, those of you, um, when they were doing the ad for the Energizer Bunny, it just keeps going and going and going. But no, we can't do that. We have to have a time to start and we have to have a time to end. And it really allows us to be, to come back at whatever it is that we're doing with more energy, more creativity, and just know, hey, I'm not gonna get everything done in this period. And that's just the reality of any ongoing project. So start time, end time, and then our Third and final point of what you must do to avoid burnout, you want to hyper-focus on one thing at a time. And I think about this in a computer. So you know it, or even in your phone, whenever you have so many apps open or when you have so many windows open on the computer, what happens? It slows down, it's not going as fast. The information is loading very slow. So that is absolutely true for our brains as well too. When we are trying to think about five, six, seven different things, when we're trying to multitask, <laughs> we cannot multifocus. So you have to hyper-focus on one thing at a time. Why? Too many windows are open. It's going back to our point for number one, it's overload. It's too much for us. And we cannot allow our brains to overload in that. And that is the reality of it. Um, we speak about this when we talk about our cognitive health. Uh, we speak about how there are so many people who are younger and they're getting this diagnosis of dementia. So we cannot hyper, we cannot uh, multi-focus. We have to hyper-focus, having that one thing at a time. I have a great cousin, his um, name is Paco. I love you, Paco. And he, um, he, he's, he goes to the gun range and he shoots. And there's one thing that I have always, when I speak to him, he'll mention that when he goes to the gun range and shoots, or any person who does target shooting, you have a target and you stick to that target. Well, it's the exact same thing when we're talking about whatever it is that we're focusing on. You stick to that target and you're gonna get it done. You're gonna be more creative, you're gonna be more energized, and more importantly, you're gonna avoid burnout. And that's what we wanna do. We want to avoid burnout. I do not encourage you to take pride in the ability that you have to multitask. I want you to hyper-focus and get away from multitasking my Tuesday Transformers. Why? So that you could enjoy your life and so that way you can enjoy burnout. And I always say this to my patients. I'm not talking to you right now. Um, let's see, uh, Edwidge, right now at this age, I'm talking about, I'm talking to Edwidge 20 years from now. Edwidge, 20 years from now, will be so happy that you are listening to this 
and you are taking in the proper uh, protocols and habits so that you could avoid burnout. So that's what I have for you guys today. We have to avoid burnout. What do we do? We schedule our breaks daily and we also schedule our breaks weekly. Why? Because, well, God himself, he rested after he created the world. After six days, he took that seventh day and rested. So we need to rest. Number two, we have a start time and an end time. And then finally, number three, we are not going to multitask. We are going to hyper focus on what it is so we can get the job done. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy to see you. I want to say hi to a couple of people who came on. I want to say hi to Marie, Lee, um, Marie Lucette Lichelieu. Glad that you could have this. Edwidge, Jean-Claude. Edwidge said, what is the difference? I'm not sure what you're asking about, but send it back. Send uh, Put a comment in so I can answer that for you. I want to say hi uh, to Seni Tassi. I'm glad that you could join us. Let's say hi to my Instagram folks. Hey, Damien. Thumbs up. Beast mode. Good to see you. I like your Jedi mind tricks. <laughs> well played. Um, uh, Damien once said hyper focus. I'm um, waving here to Beast Mode, waving here to Savage, three underscore 30, good to see you. Damien once said, yes, start time, end time, productive underscore on underscore purpose said, amen, with the exclamation point, absolutely, fabulous underscore Tasha said, good point. Damien once said, break, uh, schedule those daily breaks, and all of this is so true. Look at this, I'm so happy to see everyone is all involved. We have so many Tuesday Transformers on today. Sorry if I didn't get a chance to say hi to everyone. I know you guys have to go to lunch, but you know who I am. I am Dr. Sabine Elizabeth, board certified family medicine physician, CEO, and co founder of Cornerstone Medical Group, where we bring wholeness to your health. Be back next week where we talk about another topic. And to next week, we have something a little us get a little bit different from the schedule that I think that you our guys are going to be really happy about. We are getting ready to go to a school next week, an elementary school. I'm not going to tell you where, an elementary school. And we're going to speak to some kiddos and encourage them to go into STEM, you know, the, the science, the technology, the engineering, the mathematics, and particularly my hidden, not so hidden purpose of encouraging young boys and girls to become physicians. So I'm really excited about that next week. We're actually going to have our Tuesday Transformer talk next week Monday instead of our regularly scheduled Tuesday just because scheduling so we will see you next week and I hope that you could join us good seeing you guys bye